hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so this will be my first video posted on this channel and for those who has asked me what happened to keeping up with tammy i deleted it because i felt as though how i was being inconsistent and i did i did just stop post i thought the better thing was to do was to delete my channel and make a new one which i regret let me regret regret and i was trying to get it back and it was impossible because let me say i delete that two weeks ago and two weeks I started studying. Why do that? Why? Why do that? Why? And yeah, I miss I miss that train for getting back the account. I could have only get it back if I did delete it, and then like two days after, um, reactivate it or something like that. So yeah, so this here is my official account, but I kind of happy about the fresh start too. So, due, due to the fact that I'm definitely on a different kind of journey right now, where I feel as though I have to become more mature. I mean, not because of that, I'm very much mature right now, but you know, I have going to have a lot of freaking responsibility now. That you know, yeah, guys. So, obviously, all you could read by the title already that I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> me, only me, you know, me. Tommy, me, pregnant. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I can just imagine how shocking this news going to be for people because everybody thought I was pregnant at when I when I posted this picture. Uh, maybe I speak it into flicking existence when I posted that freaking picture. So everybody thought I was pregnant when I posted that picture. I talk about my family members from the state message me to find out. Um, oh, are you pregnant? Question mark, question mark. Everybody though, everybody was messaging me to ask me if I'm pregnant. And I was like, no, because to be very honest, um, I know I could have seen the pants underneath. I, I was on my period and I, I needed that extra security to hold the pad so and i hate to wear and i hate to see them lines in the picture so yeah i was definitely on my period so i started on my family that no i on my period i'm not pregnant and da -da 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 boom bam but i actually okay so i find out i was pregnant while seeing my freaking period i didn't know that was possible well, I kind of had an idea that it was possible, but listen, it is fucking possible that you could be pregnant and still see in your period. So, all the ladies, better keep flicking. All the ladies, better just be safe out here and take the thing as it seems. No, all the above, we find like I real normal. But it's how I go on straight into the video though without even sticking. But that's a good thing because I just feel like I need to communicate and I'm kind of excited about it now. Because I done passed through all my emotional phase and them kind of thing. Right, so what's God say just now? Hmm. I can't remember. But yeah. Shit, that was right. Are you trying to? Huh? Anyways, guys. Yes, yeah, so let me show you guys proof. That's now. So, at night, right? And it went to do somebody here. And well, she's a close, close friend of mine. So hold on a second. Guys, so I'm back. It was the hardest. So, you know, but yeah, I'm back. So yeah, when I reach, I was I think I was going to show all the proof. So, oh yeah, I know I was giving any background. So yeah, I think I was saying that I went to do somebody here, 
and it was really to me like I was like, girl, I made that pregnancy test. I made that pregnancy test because I just feeling dog. Girls supposed to know when things change in anybody or they feel or you feeling different or them kind of thing. And I was just feeling thing. And uh, what make me actually buy it is that I start to pee on myself like I literally peed dog myself because I try holding up a pee, but uh, it was like no. Um, and not, 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 not plenty here, yeah, but I still feel like a bit. So then, I buy it now. I was so scared. Super, super, duper scared. Huh? So, when I, as I reached home, I went in the bathroom. Remember, I had the hot pee, right? After I peed on myself a little bit, I still went and peed on the rest. And, uh, well, I had to be, but I went and pee. Cut a bottle one time. So I took the first one because in, in the box come with two, right? So I took the first one, two lines. I, I was in disbelief. I could never be pregnant. So I said, this test is lying. Something is wrong with the test. All right. I went and show. Well, I don't show. I cry now. I wanna tell all that I cry and I flicking crying. I crying. So boom bam. Take the next one. Two lines. Well, I know this is awesome. I know this now. Well, two key flicking light. If one they come negative and another one they come positive, then well, yeah, I'll have to take an extra and next one to be sure. right. So I'll have to take another one just to be exact. So me now in this belief, I tell you, I'm in tears. Huh? I crying. To tell them about when they start to cry like a baby. I want yeah, to feed, I yeah. crying. <laughs> me, I tell them, and you know, they plan my funeral because. This not happening on my granddad. Anytime my father find out, or anytime my mother find out, this day today, or they plan my funeral. I tell them, tell them what color I want to be in. Make sure I have my phone with me. Every time, every time, I just cried. I was also happy and in very shock, yeah? So it was tears of joy, and then <laughs> I cried. So it was tears of joy, nah. tears of fright. Fright. I was. Panicking, my buttocks are the clap. I feel like I was dead. Like, I just was get, clapping yes, I just get weak, like, real, real, real weak. And he did, he did normal. This is not about me, this is about you. How you, you want to know how <laughs> you was, all right? Yeah. But he was real normal and just watching me and laughing at me and while I crying. Eh? But you know, of course, he may be gonna look like that. No, so. no. Mm. Watch this. I watch this. Uh, I'm sweet though. So yeah. <laughs> so why why you touch every breast? Why you touch every breast in the video? <laughs> yeah. So I touch every breast in the video. Leave <laughs> my breast. Go do that. Go do that. Go from here, lad. Oh God, I I need my sickness. I swear to God. Go do that. 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 Right? He's left. Anyways, so I like I panicking and I panicking on the side. I don't, I don't bring the test because the kids don't know now, right? Honey, but so I tell you what I do after. After I done cry out my life, like I literally cry until I can't cry no more. I called my mother. My mother was the first person I called, and. I said, Ma, I, said, I don't even know how it went, but I know I tell her. And then she was like, um, I moved out. I actually moved out and started living on my own before. So, like, she she, she knew. And she also knew that I was sexually, sexually active. So, it's like, she said she knew. She expected it. And she said I did way better than her. She was not disappointed. She just said because I thought she was gone. That is it. I'm not keeping it out. So yeah. 
and then she was like no she wouldn't recommend i do that bring forth your grandchild and and them kind of thing she was she just real supported me she didn't get vexed she didn't like she wasn't harsh about it she didn't cost me none of that so it, when i when i spoke to her i i was just at peace like i felt so much better because to be very honest i do not care about my father because he, i am frightened that he might have killed my ass and then kind of thing but um a whole situation that happened with me and him and my grandmother them that wouldn't really get to because they're kind of emotional for me i have fun and I, I just felt as though it changed my life completely or whatever so i took the risk yeah so i took the risk oh yeah the background noise anyways so i took the risk i my decision was still to thing like um i just felt like i wasn't ready i don't think i don't think anybody will ever be ready for motherhood because they that is not something they just prepare you for but i have experience because i have a lot of brothers and yeah i had to change a lot of diapers who the head it is one thing my mother would have never let me touch that child when they cord on the belly untouchable i can't even hold yeah so i have a lot of experience and then i really sit down and i think about it i said number one well my mother does always tell me a child don't ever ask to come here and if i want to play hot and do i have to do you know for my pleasure or whatever and then not being protective but it kind of strange earlier because let me tell you something my mother has pcos right for those who don't know what pcos is i'm not going to be a teacher or they could always google it but yeah it does it just basically makes it hard for women to have children right so uh, my mother have that but she have five children so she always telling me girl them doctors let me say that da, 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 da. you're gonna get one my doctor did actually tell me that i have that and i wouldn't be able to have children but yeah and the doctor always told me that i wouldn't be able to have children because of that well not ever i guess i uh, like it would have just been hard for me to have it right so i always thought i could have never have no children and then two then two kind of was strange because i was having an unprotected sex for a while so that could have happened anytime but it chose to happen now now i just feel like god does do things when he think you're ready for them and i just always felt like i have nobody like at all no, it doesn't matter if i in a relationship i just feel like nobody could ever love me and nobody never have me like how i have them now but so i was i always say in the future eventually i'll have a child and i feel like that child will be that person for me that that person who loved me because that your child that is something you pushing out right that, that child can be looking up to you for everything and when you write you write you nobody else if they go when you write you write you write you write you write you so i just started to think about all them things and mentally i started to make up my mind and them kind of thing i, I don't believe in abortion but yeah you know shit does happen and i i have all respect to women who was pregnant and they felt like though they was not ready at the end of the day that is your body you know what was best or you did something that you felt that was best for you and i 100 percent respect that right and watch no face so yeah overall now because let me tell you someone when all have seen these videos i will i wouldn't i wouldn't announce my due date or tell earlier how far along i am 
if they ever want to know that um, we can another video on that right because it's our plenty other videos and you know so i wouldn't do that because right now i think when i'm when i doing this video today and it might even be posted today might be posted like a week later or some kind of thing so i kind of want to protect myself and my child from social media but then i i don't i don't want to hide my pregnancy as well because all in know i'm very photogenic and i feel like this is a blessing and i feel like this is something beautiful that is happening to me so i will love to share my experience my struggles because it's not going to be easy so i just want to share everything and my memories make memories and be comfortable to post them but i realize in this world it has so much people with hate and bad mind and just real negative energy that it is how to protect it's only it's like only certain things you could put out there on social media and yeah well you have to know the difference you have to know what you're putting and know things that you're not putting and i feel like everybody feel like them could have read me like i will have post something i just be posting it for like an emotional shit eh? and that time i real happy when i tell all i happy i happy eh? but i'm not even studying now i going about my day or i doing something and them just feel like them know my life and them could say anything or write a book about me whole time them just all they write in a book about based on what i post at the end of the day you know like so i i i can never figure out nobody by watching really flick the post i like i will figure out somebody by being with them and seeing because 99.9% of .9 the time most people on social media does be freaking fooling on you <laughs> and all they like a jackass plus all they like people business all it does fall for it but not me so yeah and overall the experience is good i am very 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 excited and i want a girl really bad if i swear to god if i get my girl child tie my tubes i don't want no more if i get a boy child i will try in the future but i really really want a girl and i'm praying for a girl and i feel like god given my girl because yeah that would be my best friend i've always wanted because if the time, i really unlucky with girl for some reason like i really unlucky with girl though so yeah i guess i just want to um get over it and let people know so they wouldn't i don't know if any i don't even know what to say about that i wouldn't even say that here because i don't know what the future holds i don't know what could happen and i think i have some regrets in life but any day i have to keep strong and i have to keep moving and everything i went through in life all they don't know me and all they don't know my story i think eventually when i make it in life i will share my story but other than that do ever feel all they know me know anything i've been through or feel or they feel just because i just be looking nice and thing on social media that's just freaking clothes all them that's just clothes they just do my hair i just do this for myself so like we say thank god i have a little a little you know i go with my hands that i could afford to do my hair for myself because many people can't afford i don't judge nobody i don't watch nobody things i i don't have time for people because i i own a journey and that person on a different journey with me and if this person get a flicking car at 21 that will say i have to get a car at 21 whenever i decide i can't even drive first of all <laughs> so whenever i decide to get a car at whatever age that girl that will be my time so you know do i ever feel less than anybody and if there's one thing i have to this the, a, a child growing in you and i already suffer with depression this does have me depressed right like it true like i just be depressed i always thinking about oh if i really make any right decision 
I, um, I, and I, 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 I sometimes I just think about oh, what people are going to say about me, but at the end of the day, I am not making my child at as a teenager i will be 20 when i make my child so out of the teenage pregnancy stage i'll have my first child at 20 which is really good because some people does make the child at 21 and yeah and this wasn't planned at all so and this was my choice so and this is my body so i don't worry about me or anything like that so I just wanted to share this news and let everybody know. So when I start, I wish I could show them my belly now. <laughs> but it's still my breast, you know, whatever, whatever. So I just don't want to be a secret. I want to post about it and help people who may, might be pregnant with me as well and younger than me or older than me. and they feel like they need somebody to talk to i am always here i will need help because i feel like though i will need some mommy friends you know i really appreciate that so yeah guys i just hope i'll enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe also um comment what videos all over my sir do or they're not pregnant no so they want to go shopping and them kind of thing or what I plan to do and them kind of thing or they just let me know just let me know and yeah bye